All right, what's happening, YouTube? We're here, PDRA. First race of the season. We're uh, launching our PDRA campaign and our YouTube series, and I'm very excited about it. So we got the car here. We're here, test day number one, Wednesday. We're looking at tires. This whole episode is going to be about tires. You know, we've heard a lot about this Hooser, uh, this 1550 Hooser tire, and we're going to be trying it out, really, really getting down to business. If you look, we've got the Mickey Thompsons on it right now. So we've got a plan. We're going to start with the Mickeys. We've made a converter change over the winter season, the off season. And so we've got to start with the Mickeys, get the car figured out, go A to B, and then uh, we're going to switch over to the Hoosers and see how we like them once we get a good base A to B set up. Tell us how we're going to do that. Well, basically we're going to take the data we had from last year, uh, start with that baseline, calm it down just a little bit instead of being aggressive, and you know, we'll calm it down, take a few more degrees out on the time curve. And, uh, you know, start somewhere around 10, 11 degrees coming out to help it get off the start line, and then we'll just progressively ramp that again. At the same time, we'll be tuning the yield curve, and things like that, checking the lungs, just make sure it's just happy. We are really happy you're here and you're on this channel. If you don't mind, give us a subscribe, share this video. I'm trying to get it out to the masses, and uh, if you're a Race Tech fan, you're in the right spot. We're going to be looking at you know, GoPro footage of the car running, some footage of the car leaving the line. You're going to see all these details as we go through each of these test sessions. And then we're going to go into qualifying, and you'll see kind of how we're planning qualifying. And then we're not really going to focus too much on the race. Um, that might come later, just depending on if, it, if there's interest in it or, you know, what. I just I feel like talking about bracket racing and, and the strategy of driving isn't really what I'm trying to employ right now. But that might be something in the future. But anyway, stay tuned. We're going to be coming into this run here shortly. I was waiting on it to make any sort of move. It didn't. It just kind of drove right through it, kind of not really that fast. And it hooked up, and it kind of went on. And when it went on, it felt really good. It felt like we were we were really uh, moving. And I was already planning on shutting it off around half track, so I got right past the cone, killed it, and coasted on through for a 408. What do you think, man? What did uh What did you see on the graph? Or well, it was just, that. it was way too conservative. Uh, so the wheel speed was really slow early, and that's what caused it to go into shake. Once the boost starts coming in, it, it's too much power for how fast the car is going at the time. Yeah. And that's all it was. So this time, we'll hop it up a little bit and see what we get. That's what happens when you try and go conservative. <laughs> it's not well, always good. Too conservative. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> Hopefully after this run, we're going to make a clean, good half-track pass. And uh, then we get to stick these bad boys on it. I'm like a kid in a candy store looking at these things. Everybody I've talked to that switched to them, they love them. They're those 1550 Hooser tires. Uh, Frank hooked me up with a set of Hooser. Wants me to try them, wants me to try them out, feel them out. And uh, I'm kind of excited to see because I've heard a lot of positive things about it. But we're going out for the second one soon. Rain's finally cleared up. That's why we got all this stuff in the trailer. And uh, yeah, hopefully we get a little bit more positive uh, feedback. All right, we're back. That was an awesome run. Killer. 953, 60 foot. Car did exactly what I remember it doing, which is leaving hard like a freight train and carrying on out. I only made a 330 hit, and uh, that was uh, designated by my crew chief here. I didn't get the green light to go all the way out the back, but still, it felt great. The car was working good. The tires were right. So I think we got the green light to go ahead and switch over to Hoosers. Let's try these bad boys out. I'm really excited. You know, we got some new Deltas. We put them on. Got them on the car, so this thing should really be rocking. So since 
I'll talk to you last. Next day, it's Thursday here at Galan. The weather is cool. We're at low footage of air, which means a whole different tune-up. But we know the chassis is working good. The car is working good. The engine that we got freshened, we don't have any issues with. Uh, Pro Charger is good. We made an oil change. Uh, changed the tires. And now we're rolling in to the next hit. So tell us about what made us go to that 953. 60. We basically just uh, put a tune up in it. It was back to our normal setup, uh, which is normally we put, go out about two tenths before we take any power. And we leave wide open. And then at two tenths in, we'll pull out nine degrees and hold that out for, you know, six tenths of a second, eight tenths of a second. And then we'll slowly ramp that back in over another six or eight tenths of a second. And uh, which is our normal setup, and uh, that normally produces a 950 60 foot. And uh, ET wise, it will usually run if it runs out the back, it'll run anywhere from a 77 to an 80, something like that, 377 to 380. And uh, you know, that's pretty much it. Now it's a matter of the weather change today, the air's a little over a thousand foot better, uh, the air's drier, and uh, so you know, you're gonna have more power. Uh, we got the new tire from Hoosier we're trying out. We're going to see what it wants. It, it may go down with the same setup. It may require a little bit of a different tune-up. You know, everything's a little different. But usually you can compensate and, and find your way through the issues and, uh, and get back to where you need to be. So that's pretty much it. So uh, for this first run, are you going to do any changes to the tune-up? Are you going to leave it the same? Everything's exactly the same. Just, just see what on, it does. Bolt on some new tires to see where we're at. Let's see what it does. You know what new tires means? Long, smoky burnouts. Gotta break them in. I love it. Well, there was the Hoosers. As you can tell, I was trying to uh, get my inner John Force out in me. Rolled in. I'll tell you on the burnout, it, you could definitely tell the tires are a lot more grippy. Uh, you could feel them really trying to bite the racetrack as I was trying to keep them spinning and moving. A lot different, you know, a lot different than the Mickeys. Uh, almost like I was driving a whole other race car, but I'm not saying that race car doesn't work. So, we staged and we learned a lot from that run we staged the car launch it looks like we need to go up on tire pressure we have four pounds into that run it looks like maybe if we creep up to like 4.3 maybe even go up to four and a half we'll kind of keep that tire from crushing as much and, and right off the hit that's what happened the tire crushed and then it just couldn't quite get spinning and so as it spun it kind of it started shaking real bad waving um, then as it went out, it just never could quite get the bite back. And it was making a lot of power because of this cold air. It's really cool out here. That's why I'm still in my comforter, you know, because it's really cool out. I just think the car was making a lot more power with that same tune-up we had yesterday. Uh, this next run, obviously, this, this is no reflection of the tires, you know. I think that even on the Vickies, we probably would have went up in smoke there. It, it just, we had too much power in the combination. So... This next run, we're going to try and dial, dial it back, take away some power. Probably instead of pulling 9 degrees, we might go to 10 or 11. Um, Russ will make that final call, and uh, after this next run, he'll, he should be here. He had to go help a good customer out. Basically, we're just going to try and bring that power down, give it a little bit less off the hit, drive it on out before we add it back in and try and get a good A to B hit on the racetrack so that way we know what we're working with and we can work with it. But this is what it is. This is what testing is. This is what figuring something new out looks like. You don't just bolt something on your car and expect it to go A to B. You've got to figure it out. You've got to fine tune it. You've got to look at the finer points and you can't just give up quick. And that's not what we're about. We're going to be really trying these tires all day today, really trying to make them work give them our best shot, and if on race day we can't use them, then boom, we'll put the Mickeys back on, we'll race on the Mickeys. It ain't a problem, but I'm pretty confident we can get these tires to work, and I've heard nothing but good things about them, and we're going to see what happens. All right.
right. Well, there it was. A to B. Clean as could be. It's crazy how you just go from like a trash run to something you can use and it's like, oh, just boom, turned it right around. And this is the guy that did that one. Well, after the data from the first one on the boosters, we just made a small adjustment to tire pressure. Uh, made an adjustment on the timing curve. We caught the car down just a little bit. And there you go, it was right down. And uh, it made a nice clean pass. And then after getting back, we looked at some data and see where we could improve on it and uh, made a few changes to get ready for the next run. The car, like, it, it, the first hit, it crushed the tire, and so we added that tire pressure. We went up, we were at like 4.2, so we went up to four and a half, and it allowed the car to not crush the tire as much, and also stopped the wheel speed from turning as fast. And uh, it really liked it, and it just looked up, went right down. It was pretty, real smooth, real good run. Uh, these tanks, man, they've got they've got some good hope for them. I, I have some high hopes, a lot of confidence in these tires. That one not as pretty. We had a big air change. He added a little bit of power. It didn't really like it. Uh, I drove out, tires went, wanted to go right back up in smoke. This time I pedaled it a couple times to try and get it down. Man, just put the tire back up and send it on down for a 422. That's where we're qualified at. We are the bump right now in qualifying. That was Q1. We've got Q2 and Q3 coming up today. Once again, I just think the air, it changed a lot while we were in the lanes. It, it had a lot more power, and it, I really do think it would have hooked up right there and went, but we just lost the tire too early, and so I had to save it and pedal it. We were looking at a fast run right there. So uh, hopefully today, this morning, we'll get, a, we'll get some more opportunities. All right, well, there was that run. We just qualified with a 381, which gets us in the field, and honestly, that's pretty good. You know, we, we know we're solid in the field. We don't have to worry about qualifying as much anymore. We're not really going to focus too much on position on qualifying. We just want to make sure we're in, make sure we're good, and now we're going to focus on trying to clean up that pass because there was just a lot of tire shake, especially right at maybe like point, point 0.5 in the run like 60, 80 feet out, it really shook. You know, then it, I didn't pedal it at all, it drove right through it okay, and uh, it hooked up, it went on down, it was real clean on the other end. Uh, so, honestly, I mean, the tire just shows that it has promise. We were looking at a real tight racetrack that time. You know, the racetrack was tight, the weather was killer. I mean, the air footage here was just ridiculously tight. Uh, but tell us what you saw on the graph that time. That's pretty much like to describe it. The uh, track was tight. Uh, we had to, you know, the whole time assistant, their time to calm down, you know, get in, just make sure everything was on the line that track good. And the, uh, basically that led into the tire shake that we experienced when we fell. So, but everything looked good up to that point, so basically we'll take that. Some time. Right. Speed up. Take that shake out of it, and that'll be our second place. All right, man. We're here for this week's first shout out. Today we got Dickie Smith here. Dickie, great customer, great friend. He's been a customer of mine. I've known him for about five, six years now. He got his race tech, and uh, man, with this car, he's just been tearing it up, man. When he's won a bunch of races, running up for two championships. What a pro star race. He's just out here killing it. These guys, they're scared of old Dickie Smith. I'll tell you that right now. 
it's the equipment. <laughs> <laughs> Harvard get lucky up on it. Oh, ah, I hear you. I hear you. So, man, tell me about it. Tell me about some racing crew, man. What got you started? Born and bred, like all of us. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Father racing when I was little and hit the track running around this big. My mother worked at the racetrack, managed the track. And all the old school guys, Don O'Don, Nicholson, Roy Hill, all the guys just staying in the house. You know? So, it's just in the house from there. And, Started out street racing, a lot of street racing in the years, and then oh, yeah. I'd go to the track with my win, win my money, they just hand you money, and thank you until you see you next week. So, and it's about the equipment to go back and race. And I won the tracks with the years, and, and was heading towards where I drove a friend's race tech. Oh man, I was I was sold right there. That, that yeah, was the man. Car I wanted. So we've had a good time, and then you get people like Cool Shirt and Azir and Who's Your Tire. They're at the track. They give us a lot of help, a lot of support at the races. So it, it, it makes this all fun. Hey, Kimmy, let's talk about that. So Hoosers, you've been a Hooser man for a while now. You're always out here testing. You're always trying new things. You know, uh, how many tires are you going through? What are you doing, man? Well, That's funny. I've won like five races in the last year or so, and every race was on a different set of test tires. Wow. So I want to get these off now because we won one with these, got lucky, you know. Get these off, put another new set on, maybe that'll bring me the luck. But <laughs> them guys, Frank, the horseshoe, them, yeah, <laughs> Frank, Aaron, all them guys. I mean, back at, at Hoosier, they come out to the races and they test and they they R and D and and they try to help us as the race. That's yeah, why yeah. that tire is yeah. on there. And if we have an issue, sometimes you got to bring the car to the tire. But if they can bring the tire to you, they will. Those are the cars. Oh yeah, you get help and support. Oh yeah, man. That's what we like to do, man. We really like to be here with the racer. We like to talk. We like to figure out what our car is doing. We like to figure out, you know, what do we need to change? What do we need to improve on? Because that's this whole that's the whole game, man. If you stay stagnant in drag racing, you will quickly be behind. behind. Like because it's all everybody's improving. Everybody's trying to get better. And you know, if you're not trying to get better, you're gonna be in the water. So you know, these cars, man. We really love. You know, you want this car, right? Wanted the big money practice race. Yeah, I, man. I was working towards buying a race tech because I drove my friends and. And then there was a race that I knew they were giving away a new race tech, and I said, I'm going to that race. Yeah, yeah. I talked to my wife. She, she's, you know, my family's been racing. And I told her, look, if there's one, just one race I've got to run. I want to catch up. I'm going to give away a race tech. I'm getting in that race. And she was like, you got to get in. And here's the funny part. Almost pulled out of the drags to race. It's a long story, but some stuff <laughs> happened right before the race. And my son's like, Man, look, just run the drags to race at the next one. I said, well, there's only one problem with that. He said, what? I said, I had a dream the other night. I won that car at that track in that winter circle at Darlington. He's like, oh, man, you got to get in that race. That's why on the dash, there's a dream catcher. The week prior to that race, I just, and he was like, no, you got to get in it. I said, I can't help it. It was so real. Then I win the car, and the next morning I wake up. I've got a friend there. Me and a friend of mine, he stayed with me in the motorhome. We're running that big race together. And I woke up in the morning, and I was like, I had to think for a second. Did, did I just dream that again? <laughs> and I yelled to my buddy in the back, Roscoe, did we win a car last night? He said, yeah, you did. I said, all right. Hey, so that yeah. night I got the winter circle picture and I stuck it on the chair straight across from me where I was sleeping at. So when I wake up the next morning, if I was curious, I could see the picture there and knew that we got away with it. So tell me that was a dream come true to get this car. That's and, awesome. And I called you guys. You know, it's not a complete car when you, when you get a good Oh, yeah, yeah. Guys. It's I a called. stage one chassis. That's what we offer. And, and your guy's got right on top of this, and, and he got me everything I needed. Everything was just total and perfect. And, I'm that to do and in fact, your dad even uh, had me bring the car to to race tech before we came out to this race a few years back, and had me bring it there and check everything, lined everything, set it all up for me. We brought it to the track and straight down the road. Thank you. And I got the finish line. I was celebrating. <laughs> this car. It's easy on your body. Yeah, yeah, car, yeah, yeah. The whole car would beat me up. I'd tire shake and get out of it. A couple hours later, you feel like an 80-year-old man. And this one, you know, it does not hurt. It's a car. I'm blessed to have it. Heck yeah, man. So, yeah, man. Like I said, it's a tool. You know, you got to build them. you got to really focus on that quality. It makes sure, you know, every car is the same. It makes sure, you know... You've got the same car Anthony Bertozzi has. You know, you've got the same car as that champion, as that big name. And you know, 
you, you're using it the way you know how to use it. You're working with Hoosier. You're working with us. You're doing everything you can to try and get that ass. Just show it. You know, it's showing, man. You know, you're really putting your heart into it, and everyone can see it, and, and we love it, man. That's why we love working with you, you know? It makes you a great customer, a great friend, and, you know, that's what we do, brother. I, would recommend <laughs> anything, I appreciate it. Yeah, man, thanks, thanks for, for talking to me, you, man. Thank you. Boom, 379. That was a killer run right there. That was exactly what we wanted. And the bump ended up being a 381 with a 5. The fastest top dragster bump that I've ever seen. And uh, I didn't even realize we had the improved from 381, but we did. <laughs> and they, honestly, I thought we were going to kind of slow up a little bit, but just it being such a clean run, you know. It went to 379, smooth as glass, not an inch of shake. I mean, that tire really worked good that way. And it really laid down a pretty pass. I was also 001 on the tree, just to let, just to let everybody know, you know, not to brag too much. But I think we're ready for race day. That's the end of this YouTube series. Uh, as far as the Hoosier tire goes, you know, that was kind of our goal to test this tire. Let y'all see us test this tire. Let y'all see what goes into it. And, you know, our final conclusion is this tire is good. It's a great tire, a great option. We're still getting it worked out. Obviously, we still got four that we got to string some runs together and, and really get the tire figured out to where it's optimal. But, man, what we're seeing, this thing's going to be able to hold some power. That's basically one air pressure chain. And then from there, it was just going to try to get my Yeah. No shot chain, no suspension chain. So there's still probably a lot more to gain. Oh, yeah. Test that, test it. Hooser has sponsored us, but, you know, these opinions are our own. You know, we really do believe in these tires. Um, we're being 100% truthful here. You saw the runs. You saw them string together. We didn't have any extra runs in between, nothing. That This is how it went, you know, and it was good. It went well and very positive. We're here on race day. They're still on the car. We're going to be racing with them. We're going to be trying to put these th this thing in the dance floor tonight. As long as God's on my side, luck's on my side, and I can let go good and make it happen. But anyway, we got Virginia coming up in two weeks, and I'm excited to see y'all again.